Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and here we are at Norman's, uh, just taking care of stuff, shipping out guitars, so if you do order a guitar, you're not going to have to wait too long. We are uh, on it, and we're here about twice a week, um, just trying to keep things going, and uh, a lot of great things to come. Just hang in there, and uh, hopefully we can get some more guitars, too. If you're selling guitars, let us know. Uh, we're always looking to buy guitars. That's how you we get what you see here um, a lot of times and uh, but other than that we have a really classic guitar um, they don't come by too often anymore let's check it out so this okay Mike open the case right let's see okay no uh oh mm -hmm. okay here we go she's Jen <laughs> give me a break I'll take Kit Kat bar all right <laughs> <laughs> this is a 1935 D'Angelico XL Yes. Yeah, wow. All right, we're just going to take a moment of silence because I'm already scared to touch it. But <laughs> let's grab it. So this guitar, um, actually, this is a repro pickguard. That's one of the things that was changed on this guitar. And it also was refretted, but it really plays great. Um, also, um, our friend Joel uh, found the original tuners for this guitar. So these are the original tuners. And look at this headstock so beautiful just a really really cool guitar but basically it's obviously an arch top but it was kind of like the l5 at the time um it's a 17 inch body um but you can do a lot of chord melody stuff and also kind of like beboppy stuff if you wanted to be like a but the projection of these guitars is Definitely something different and in a way a lost art, but I'm telling you, man, you sit with these and the thing that's different about this guitar and a flat top is sometimes when you play chords like that, it doesn't have as much twang and it makes you play, sometimes for me, more melodic um, instead of just finger picking and stuff. So something to really try and consider. And obviously this is just top of the line, a beautiful guitar. So we're going to take it out front and see what we can do. Let me see the back. Oh yeah. Sorry about that, Jen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Gorgeous. Insane. Look at the burst on the neck. Let me see. Tiger stripe neck. Come they, on. They want to see that. They want to see all. Yeah, I know. That. What am I doing? What are you doing? I'm just trying to run away. <laughs> you mm. love it so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Peace. <laughs> just <All> sold. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys so much, and uh, we appreciate you guys watching um, through all this stuff. And and uh, yeah, we love you guys. All see right. you soon. Let's go. All right, we're out front with the 1935 D'Angelico. XL, um, really cool guitar. Uh, this has a new pick guard, it was refretted, but the original tuners, um, yeah, amazing guitar. Let's start off with uh, just a little bit of picking. Here we go.
here's another piece, um, just to feel the space of the guitar and let the chords ring. Here we go. There you have it, your 1935 D'Angelico XL, just a beautiful guitar. Um, you don't see many of these anymore. Um, so check them out at normansrareguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook. I'm your host, Michael Emma. Thank you guys so much. Bye.